Why is it important to randomly assign your sample groups in an A-B test? Because if you don't, you can't be confident in the results. Let's take an example from the field of healthcare. Let's say you were considering taking a new medicine and wanted to know if it worked. If the drug company only tested the new medicine with a volunteer or hand-picked pilot group, say, young, healthy, single people in their early 20s, and compared their health after the medication to another group, say, parents with kids in daycare, would you feel confident that the medicine worked? You couldn't be confident in the results of the drug trial, and the FDA wouldn't let the company sell it. It'd require a rigorous test, where the only difference between treatment and control groups was the medication. The FDA calls these clinical trials, or randomized control trials, but it's also a version of A-B testing. Just like in medicine, when A-B testing for public programs, to be confident in the results, you want to know that the only difference between the two groups is what version they received. The best way to do that is to assign your sample into version A and version B completely randomly. With a big enough sample, groups tend to become comparable. Just like if you toss a balanced coin enough times, you'll get heads and tails roughly an equal number of times. How does this work in the real world? When the city of Chicago's behavioral design team tested new parking ticket reminders, they wanted to ensure that the results from people who saw version A or version B of the reminder were not based on other factors like when people got a ticket, what kind of car they drove, where they parked, their age or gender, but was determined through randomization. That way, they could trust the results were because of the new reminder and not because of any other factors. Randomization can also be the fair thing to do. When you're not sure what version will work, randomization is like a lottery that gives all of your sample an equal chance of getting each version. To make it easy for you, we've built a downloadable tool to help randomize your data on your computer. Follow these four steps. Step one, download the randomization tool. Step two, from your sample, copy any field that is a unique identifier for each participant into the spreadsheet. Step three, click randomize and voila. The sheet is randomly assigned participants to A and B groups. In step four, copy the new groups back into your original data set. And now your participants are randomly assigned to groups and you can sit back and trust the results of your test. For more information on randomization or the City of Chicago's project, visit abtesting.ideas42.org.